it may be desirable to adjust the interval of your strip grades. For example, right now we're at every 25 feet, which is the default, but on a hundred scale that can be quite a bit busy along the bottom. And so what if we wanted to change, for example, every 25 feet to every 50 feet, how would we do that? We're going to go back to our geometry file where the alignment is plotted that we are going to actually uh, use to create our sheets. And in this example, I have both the plan and the profile view open. Does it really matter what views you have open? We're going to make our adjustment inside of Explorer under the Open Road Standards tab. If we expand down to our active file, to annotation groups, to the profile, and to linear, then we'll do a right click and select manage. And you're going to go down to the very bottom annotation definition for profile strip grade annotation. And we're going to change this location. So you're going to right click or single click over here on the right and then do a second click and change that interval to every 50. And then we will uh, close that to save those settings. And then we will go back to our drawing model in our profile portion of our plan and profile sheet. At this point, we can close Explore. Now, had you not cut each plan profile sheet to its own file, you could have came in here and said, remove element annotation and selected the profile, and it would have removed this annotation and the strip grades. But because they're each in their own separate file, we've got to do this a little bit differently. So we're going to go to our drawing model annotation, and we're going to select to remove our drawing model annotations. And I'm just going to do this drawing model. And then we want to say annotate our drawing model. Make sure you have the proper scale selected and it puts the grid and the stations and elevations back on. But notice we're still missing our element annotation. So we go to our annotate element. And again, I'm just going to do this drawing model. And so we'll select our profile here, our proposed profile. And then reset and it adds our annotation back and it gives us our new strip grade interval. And if you were to put all of these in one DGN file, all your planner profile sheets in one DGN file, again, you could have skipped a step here, but uh, this is just the process you have to do when they're in separate DGN files, which is more common. Now, just a side note, before you actually uh, created your planner profile sheets, if you would have made that change in your geometry file first, then you would not have had to come in here and re-annotate, it just would have used uh, the new setting. And so that's what we're going to do in the second part of this video is now we're going to change them to every 100 feet and we're also going to change how many intermediate grids that we see. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine intermediate grids because we have a grid line at every 50 feet. Well what if we only wanted grids at every 100 feet? In that case, we would only want four intermediate grids. So let's make that change. Again, if we're going to do a strip grades every 100 feet, well, we already saw that. So we'll go back to our geometry file, open up Explore, and this time we're going to do 100 foot spacing. So annotation group, profile, linear, right click manage, go down to there, and we'll select our location. And now we want 100 feet. So that will take care of the strip grade spacing. So let's close Explorer. And to change our grid line spacing, now we want to navigate to our name boundaries file where we placed our name boundaries. And again, we'll go to Explorer, Open Road Standards, and then we'll go down, navigate to our annotation groups for profile. And not under the linear category, but now we're under the drawing category. We're on our 100 scale, we're going to right click and manage. And where it says our minor grid properties, we're going to change horizontal per major from nine to four. And you can also do your verticals here as well. And so that will change, adjust our number of grid lines. And so we'll go ahead and close that. And now when we go back to where we have produced our sheets, we're going to re-annotate. So we can go ahead and remove our drawing model annotation and we'll annotate drawing model for 100 scale. And notice now we have only grid lines every 100 feet. And then we'll annotate element and we will do our proposed profile. 
and now we have strip grades every hundred feet. and so that's how you can adjust those intervals.